Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Uh, last time we finished off, we did everything we had in the shop. So we got nothing left to go out, nothing had come in yet. Uh, we did get some emails, so let's start going through those. This one says, Hiya, there's something wrong with my PC. Can you diagnose what's wrong with it? Stupid thing keeps crashing. I'd fix it myself, but I'm way too busy. I might need a bit of a, oh, it might need a bit of a clean. My kid's been using it and I'm getting some weird pop-ups. ASAP, please, it's urgent. Lots of love, Simon. So diagnose and fix, let's accept that one. Uh, we've got a PC build. Hello, I'm looking to pay for a new PC. I have to be able to play Flight Simulator a minimum spec. I hear 3D Mark is a great way to test stability. Sheehan components are meant to be the bomb. Thanks, V. So a budget of 955 to play a flight simulator at minimum spec. So let's go ahead and accept that one. Let's see, here is a five star in eight days. Uh, we can hang on to it and see if we hit five stars. I'm not gonna bother to read it though yet. Uh, this one, though, we can do, so let's see. I need some repairs. It's not immediately obvious what's gone wrong. You'll have to do some digging. When I hit the power, I smelled burning. Now it just won't turn on. If you can, I'd love some plastic light gray cables in there. Can you get it done quickly? Sure thing, Margaret Fisher. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Uh, so for this PC build, uh, let's go ahead and do like we normally do and get a parts list put together. Um, and then we will order it in the day and get all this stuff in to work on and build. So give me just a moment and I will get a parts list put together and be right back. Okay, so here is what is needed to run Flight Simulator on the minimum spec. 2 gigs of RAM, 3 gigs of VRAM, 30 gigs of storage, a Intel Pentium G4500, and an AMD Radeon R9 280 3 gig. But with his budget of 955, we could up that a little bit. So here is what we're going to order. We've got the Mortoni H170 motherboard, an Intel Core i5-6600, an NZXT Kraken M22, that's the 120 millimeter uh, fan size liquid cooler. Two sticks of Shein Titan 4 gig RAM because he wants Shein parts. Uh, a Shein GeForce GTX 970. Uh, a Seagate Barracuda 500 gig drive. A Shein Mega SSD 120 gig. A Shein Power King 400, and we'll put that in a Be Quiet case, which I have not built in yet. So let's go ahead and order this stuff. And let's go end our day so we can get in the repairs and our parts. Okay. Let's get our parts. Let's go ahead and get everything on a workbench. Since we now have three. Perfect. Man, that's a dusty one there. Okay. So let's start with this one. Let's go ahead and take the side panel off. That's a cool color on that case. So let's see, this was M. Fisher. Let's take a look at the email real quick. Oh, we got some more emails. Uh, smelled burning, so that could be a power supply. Uh, that might be the easiest thing to start with. Let's, let's unplug all the power. That's it. Let's pull this power supply out. Uh, 
And let's take a look and see. Uh, it's just saying used. So let's go ahead and put it back in because that doesn't sound like it's our problem. So it could be the motherboard. So I guess let's take that out next. Let's get this front off. Let's remove the cooler. Maybe. There we go. Just didn't like where I was clicking. Get all these screws out of here. And we'll get RAM out. Let's get the graphics card out. Let's unplug the rest of the stuff from the motherboard. I think that's everything. And let's take a look here. And we'll see if this is what happens to be broken. Oh, that's right. Standoffs as well. We've got 14 grand. I really should invest in that auto standoff tool. Let's take a look at the motherboard. I'm just seeing used on that as well. I'm not really sure what else could be burning. Uh, did there... Nope. Ah, their CPU is broken, so they need another i7-6700. So let's go ahead... I shouldn't have closed that menu out. Let's go ahead and put the motherboard back in. We'll get as much of this put back together as we can, minus the CPU and CPU cooler. Get the motherboard all screwed back down. Let's get their RAM put back in. Let's get their graphics card put back in. Oops. Oh, if I clicked in the right spot. Let's get this PSU mount back on because their PSU was just fine. And we can even cable it back up. And they have some purple cables in here. Is that what it was? No. May not have the right color cables. In my inventory, it wasn't blue, was it? Oh, that could have been it. Well, we're just going to go with that. Actually, let's take a look at their email. Was this the one that said they'd like some different colored cables? Light gray. Plastic light gray. Uh, plastic light gray. Well, let's do those. Let's remove these cables. And let's do... That is the plastic light gray. Get all this plugged back in. Okay, they need another i7-6700. So i7-6700. Add that to the cart. And then let's take a look at what is wrong with this one, in case we need to order parts for it. 
but we can get everything in at once. Let's remove some dust, though. It's a lot of dust. There we go. Okay. So let's go take a look at this email. It keeps crashing. And some weird pop-ups, so they probably need some virus scan. Whoops. So let's connect our cables to the back here. And we'll get our USB drive put in there. Let's see if we can't figure out what's going on with this one. No CPU found. Well, that's more than a crash. Okay. Let's see if their CPU is broken. So they have a broken i3-6300. Let's get one of those. So I-3-6300. Let's go ahead and order these parts for same-day delivery. Probably waste a lot of money on same day delivery, but it just seems to work better when recording videos. Probably be a lot richer right now if I'd quit spending $100 for same day delivery. Okay, so this one had an i3. Let's get that put back in. We'll get some thermal paste. And they're cooler which was this one. And we'll plug it up. Let's power this on and see if it works now. There we go. So let's get some, where is it, virus scanning software installed on here. As I said, they're getting weird pop-ups, so uh, we can get rid of those for them. And then we need to tell them to stop visiting those naughty websites that install all those pop-ups on your system. Wow, 542 infected files. So let's get that clean. Hey, we should be good to go now. Let's get the side panel put back on. And we can put this out in the hall. Let's power it down first, though. Okay. So let's get our i7 installed in this one. Let's see. It was a 6700, right? Yeah, not the 6700K. Let's get that put in. Let's get some thermal paste. And we will get their... There we go. Get all these screws put in. This is a lot of cooler for a non-overclockable CPU, but hey, however they want to spend their money. Let's get cables, our fans connected. Okay, get everything out here connected, and then we can make sure this system works. So while it's starting up, I'm going to get the PCI lock and the dust filter and front of the case are reinstalled. So 
So everything looks good. Let's boot it up. Get our other side panel put back on. We can power this one down and get it out in the hall. Okay, now we can get onto the fun stuff and get this one built. So, before I get started, I always forget to grab these sticky notes. Let's get the sticky note on here so we can keep track. Let's get the two sides off so we can see what we're working with. Okay. Let's get our motherboard in first. Huh, does that already have standoffs installed? That's the first time I think I have not had to put standoffs in. What is this action? Oh, that's interesting too. Okay. So let's get RAM and CPU installed. Let's see, we're doing the 6600. And memory. Got a couple of sticks of Shein Titan 4 gig. Go ahead and thermal paste that. Now here's an interesting I mount the CPU cooler up top because I did get a liquid cooler for this one. Uh, let's go ahead and get the graphics card in. And the PSU. Okay, now let's see if we can install this cooler. That looks like it'll work. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Are there no fans in the front of this case? Okay, there's a fan down there. That should be fine. At least there'll be air movement. Let's get our drives in. Got SSD. And we've got a Barracuda. Uh, I think that's everything other than cabling it up. Oops. Oh, no, that's what I wanted to go to. What color do we want to do in here? Maybe just some black. Just some nice black cables. Get everything connected. This fan plugged in. Let's get the CPU cooler plugged in. CPU power. That is a thick fan. Okay, is there anything else we need to connect? Get these connected to the back. And we will put a USB drive in. And let's see it will boot okay so it won't what did I miss did I miss plugging something in because I'm not seeing it missing cables well I sure as heck can't see them I mean, there's motherboard power, there's CPU power. This doesn't have any cables. I 
Oh, is it the... I bet I know what it is. Oops. The front panel connector, I'm sure, is what is stopping this. Is it on the top? Put the top panel on. Ah, uh, there it is. It's on the top. Now it should power. Okay. Get this powered up. Seems to be just fine. Let's finish putting the case back together. Okay, I think we are good. Let's power this one down. And get it out in the hall. Well, let's collect some money. Well, let's collect this one. And this one. And this one. So we got a bunch more emails in. Uh, I think we're going to go through those in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified as soon as another one of my videos goes live. I hope you have an excellent day, and I will see you in the next episode.